Vikings adding a big old piece to the front office. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Luffy Show. I'm One Bar, and we've been wondering, will the Vikings be adding more pieces to Kwesi in that front office to give him a hand? We know that he needs a little bit of help first-time GM, and they did it. Ryan Grigson, former Colts GM, uh, multiple tweets coming out. This one from Ben Gossing. The Vikings will be adding former Colts GM Ryan Grigson to the front office in a senior personnel position. First things first, um, he's had a relationship with Kwesi. He was with the Browns. So before I get into how why this makes me a little bit uneasy, the fact that Kwesi's worked with them and the fact that they have some sort of relationship and he knows the type of guy he is, that should give us a little bit of a sigh of relief. If this was uh, Kwesi just hiring him, not working with them, Ryan Grigson doesn't have the best best background as far as former players, what they say about him. But let's uh, let's get to know him a little bit. Before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the channel. Like the video here every damn day, talking Minnesota Vikings. Lupagus and I will be talking about the defensive side of the ball, keep, cut, or trade at lunch. So look out for that one later, and we'll also be going live tonight to talk Vikings. But Ryan Grigson, uh, let's get some eyeballs on this guy. This isn't a guy that I would probably want to piss off. He looks like that he kind of uh, might mess you up. There he is. That is our new senior personnel uh, working hand-in-hand -hand with Quasi. So he is a big, big man. Anybody that's been watching football the last handful of years probably recognizes that face. He was a big part of the Colts' success, and they did have success when he was there. When they brought him in, that was kind of the time when Peyton Manning uh, stepped away. They got Andrew Luck, and, and by reading what he did, he kind of cleaned house in Indianapolis and brought in his own guys. They won 11-5 and five, three straight seasons, then went 8-8 eight and eight for a couple seasons, and then the Colts did fire him. But also, he's been in the NFL since 1999 with the Rams, greatest show on turf, went to the Eagles, uh, went to the Colts, has been with the Browns, Seahawks, and then the Browns once again. He's been serving as a senior football ad advisor for the Browns, for the Seahawks. So this isn't a, an overly new role for him. Um, what I like about it is Kwesi's getting a guy that has GM experience, which is fantastic, and has been successful at it. Yes, we will talk about the Trent Richardson trade in a minute, but he's had some very good moves. Uh, what I don't like about it is Colts fans um, almost are laughing at this. They uh, anytime he was hired anywhere but Brown Seahawks, they weren't a big, very, very big fan of him. Um, and not only fans, but also players. Pat McAfee has not been shy about his feelings towards him. Reggie Wayne has not been shy about his feelings towards him. They describe him as arrogant, gruff. Uh, a lot of people blame Grigson as far as with Andrew Luck, all that going down about not giving him protection. So there's a lot of negative things about him. On the other side of things is when you look at it, there's people that say he's he loves his players. There's, they, they say some good things about him too. But when you got a guy like Reggie Wayne, Pat McAfee, ah, I just wish they would have said something a little bit nicer than him. Uh, he's not afraid to be aggressive. That is his thing. He will go for it if he can, a la the Trent Richardson trade. Completely backfired, gave up a first rounder, didn't like it. We Lepagus and I have been talking a handful of the weeks is that at least with Spielman gone, we won't see any crazy ass trades at the end of training camp. Fourth rounder for Chris Hernan and Walk and uh, which we've seen in the past, Sam Branford. Well, maybe Ryan Grigson coming to the <laughs> back into the mix or coming into the mix. Maybe that changes it up a little bit. Out of all the moves, out of all the coaches that they've brought in, that they've interviewed, that they've hired Kevin O'Connell, we see that they're looking at Aubrey Pleasant. Uh, Phillips. I've been on board with them. I'm trusting the process. This is the only one so far where I'm just a little bit, oh man, but we will see. It seems like his time with the Browns, with Seattle, looking at the drafts, they've, they've done some good things. Quasi, the, the buck is still going to stop with him. I do like that they're bringing somebody in with some experience. It's just Ryan Grigson. Mm, don't look on Twitter. Uh, there's not very good things said about him, but we will see. Let me know. Comments below. What do you think about the move? Do you like that they're bringing in somebody that can be Quasi's right hand man? Um, does this scare the living shit out of you? Is it disgusting? Let me know in the comments. We'll be back tonight live, seven o'clock tonight. So uh, be sure to hop on because we'll be talking tons of Vikings. <laughs> 